this video is for Battle of the Beasts. Hey YouTube people, what's going on? Today's video is a bit of a weird one. Um, it's a topic that's a little different than the things I normally like to discuss on my channel. So just to sort of explain a little why I'm doing a video on this topic. Some of you may or may not know that I'm currently competing in a tournament on YouTube where commentators like myself are judged against others to see who has the best videos and all that sort of stuff. It's called Battle of the Beasts. Um, I've advanced to round two of the tournament and we were all told the topic for our round two video is cake. So yeah, now that I've sort of explained the reasoning behind this topic, I now have two stories that I'm going to share with you that both involve, you guessed it, cake. So the first story takes me back to around two years ago. My boss's son was turning 13 and he wanted to have some live entertainment at his birthday party. So he asked me and a fellow employee of mine if we would come over and just jam on the drums and guitar while the kids had their party. You know, he said we were welcome to some free pizza and beer and snacks and stuff like that. He even offered to pay us and stuff. So we we're like, yeah, sure. Why not? So we go to the party and we're jamming and the kids are all having a great time and doing their thing or whatever. And then, you know, at one point, everybody gets called up to the dining room because the pizza had arrived. So we all gather around the table and God, there must have been probably around 14, 15 people there, including myself. So we're all gathered around the table and the mom thought that this would be a good time to do the cake ceremony or whatever you want to call it. So she brings out the cake, it has all the candles all lit. All the kids are singing happy birthday to the dude. You know, he makes his wish. He blows out the candles and all that. And I'm literally just sitting there at this point, just waiting to dive into this pizza. <laughs> but the mom's like, okay, the cake is for dessert after the pizza. So she turns around and she puts the birthday cake on this other table. There's two tables. So she put it on the other table that was up against the wall. And then everyone gathered around the main dining room table. And basically we all started mowing down on this pizza. So all the kids are laughing and joking and there's music playing in the background. And they were a very festive family, so they liked to party loud, and I guess you could say it was just a really jolly crowd, okay? But then all of a sudden, one of the kids looks over and he yells, Oh no! And everyone suddenly stops and looks over. And there's the friggin' family dog standing on his hind legs, fucking chomping away at this birthday cake. Like, this dog was going to town on this cake Practically his whole snout was covered in icing. He had stuff all over his fur and he pretty much demolished like at least half the cake. And I thought it was freaking hilarious. And they did end up actually salvaging the other half of the cake, which I refuse to take part in eating. Like, I don't know. There's just something about eating a cake that a dog had its snout in that I find somewhat repulsive. But anyways, it was a pretty funny situation. We all laughed about it. So I thought it would be a cool kind of story to share with you guys. The second story though, goes back even further, way back to 2002. Now, most of you will probably have no idea regarding what I'm about to talk about. Just to give you some background info though, I live in Canada and for the longest time we didn't have MTV in Canada. But since the early 80s, we've always had much music. And it's basically the Canadian version of MTV. Well, they had this tradition every year where after Christmas, they would throw their Christmas tree off of a roof and try to get it to land in a garbage dumpster. And I think the whole point was, you know, if they get it in the dumpster, it was supposed to grant everyone a year of good luck. And if they missed, then it was just going to be like another normal year or something like that. So anyways, me and a couple of my buddies decided we're going to go down and check out the tree toss one year. So we called ahead and we got wristbands, which were required to enter the back parking lot area where they held this event. And the event was broadcast on live TV as well. Um, Ed the Sock and Robin Black were hosting the event on this particular year. And me and my friends got there pretty early, so we were right up at the front of the crowd. Now I'm gonna be honest, okay? This was quite a while ago. My memory isn't the greatest, so I don't remember much of the day and I don't remember the tree toss itself, to be honest. But I do remember that they were doing practice throws with different objects. And if I remember correctly, I believe they threw off a watermelon. I think they also threw off a pumpkin or maybe a couple pumpkins. But the one thing I remember for sure 
was when they threw a cake off the roof of the building. So they throw this cake off the roof, okay? And it lands in the middle of the parking lot and splatters all over the ground. And I don't know what came over them, but both of my friends decided to pick up chunks of cake and eat it in front of the cameras on live TV. And I was just like, hell no. I mean, I love cake, okay? And I ain't even gonna sit there and lie and tell you that I didn't think about grabbing a chunk of cake and diving right in, okay? But there's just something about a cake that's smeared all over a parking lot that I find somewhat repulsive. But my friends, yeah, they loved it, they dove right in, and they said it was delicious. It was a pretty fun time. Me and my friends still laugh about it to this day every once in a while when it comes up, when we're reminiscing of fond memories. I tried to find footage of it to show you guys, but unfortunately I can only find footage up to the tree toss of 1999. And I believe the event that we went to was the last one they had for about 10 years or maybe more. Um, because I think they didn't have any up until like maybe 2013 they finally decided to start continuing the tradition once again. Now I'm pretty much out of the loop on much music these days so I don't even know if they still do this or not. Uh, basically the only time I turn into that channel now is when South Park is on. But anyways guys, that's it. That's gonna be it for this video. That's my commentary on cake. I hope you enjoyed my cake stories, or at least found a little humor in them. And I'm gonna advise you guys, I think you guys should go check out the Battle of the Beast tournament. There's a bunch of really talented commentators competing, and you know, I went and checked out a few of them. Some really uh, smooth voices and good commentary skills on there, so who knows, you might see something you like, you might wanna go give them a sub or something, or who knows, right? But that's gonna be it from me for now. I'm Vile Self, until next time villains, later.